Good morning guys, how are we doing today? My name is Val if you're new to my channel. So today is Monday and I honestly could not be more excited and I'm sorry by the way if the camera's shaking. I don't have a car mount yet so I'm kind of balancing it on the top of my car. So it might be a little bit trembly. It's 8.53 a.m. I woke up at seven, actually that's not true. I woke up at 6.45 this morning because Olivia was whining to go out. I was planning on getting up at seven anyway, so it was nice to get like kind of a head start. I took her for a nice long walk in the morning. It was beautiful outside this morning. And then I had a cup of coffee. I journaled this morning. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about like what happened this morning when I was journaling. So I don't think I've ever really talked about it on my channel, but hummingbirds have always been a very symbolic thing for me in my life. And I know a lot of people have the same type of feeling about hummingbirds and I know that like if you look it up online it's supposed to mean I think your ancestors are coming down to talk to you or like a loved one or whoever but I knew that was going to happen at some point and it's probably going to happen right now because I'm going over a bump yep there it goes Okay, honestly, after today, I need to get a car mount because this is getting a little out of hand. What I was saying earlier about the hummingbirds is that I have always seen hummingbirds pop up in person, like whenever I'm going through something like where I'm struggling a lot or if I'm having a thought internally about my life or about things that I want to accomplish, like my goals and stuff, I'll literally, I'll be in, it doesn't matter where I am, I'll be at home, I'll be in the kitchen, on my chair, like sitting on my chair, I'll be driving, I'll be at the beach, like it doesn't matter where I am, but whenever I have thoughts like that, literally I'll see, I'll something will come into my peripheral or my view and I'll look, and then I won't always recognize that it's a hummingbird right away, but it's literally the second I'm like, oh, a hummingbird, it flies away, like it, it just disappears. And it, it happens like that every single time I see them, where it's like, they're there just long enough for me to notice it, and then the minute I recognize what it is, then it goes away. And I always just get this like intuitive feeling when I see them that it means something, or that it's like, a sign to just like trust and that like I'm on the right path and that my thoughts are are valid and they're real and they're okay to to have and I don't know but this morning um, when you guys saw earlier I was starting a new journaling prompt uh, technique that I found online for manifesting and um, I feel like right now it's like a really good time for me personally to be like speaking my goals into existence I don't know why I just have like an intuitive feeling about it when I was journaling this morning and I was writing down this new prompt of like what I want my life to look like and writing it down in my current reality I looked out the window for like literally a second randomly and there was like a hummingbird hovering over all the trees and I saw it and I was like oh a hummingbird and then it just disappeared and I was like okay like that makes me feel it just makes me feel really good when that happens because it you know it was 7 a.m. when I woke up this morning and that was like the first kind of situation that happened to me today and it just set my day up for like really good vibes and my week for really good vibes you know so I'm just I'm in a great mood and I literally just drove past a car just now and it says 111 on the license plate ah! so I don't know I feel like right now really good things are coming really good things are gonna happen and I hope that my energy with that rubs off on you if you're not feeling that way or maybe you are we're aligned that's awesome but if you know you're struggling right now with whatever it could be maybe you're just not happy with life right now and that's totally okay I hope that this energy or this video rubs off onto you and your situation I hope that things turn around for you because we all go through really tough times in life and we all struggle and we all have our own battles but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and I know that saying is cliche but there really is always a light at the end of the tunnel and you have to be willing to seek it I just hope you have a great day today if you're watching this but um yeah I'm just gonna vlog today I have like nothing really planned I'm just going to the gym right now this is like an early gym day for me I usually don't go to the gym until like 11 but it's 9 a.m. and I'm almost there so I'm gonna do a workout today I'm doing lower body so I'll try to film on my phone a little bit. Other than that, I'm probably just gonna come home and eat breakfast. And yeah, I'm not really sure what else I have going on besides work. I have to work today, so there's that. But um, yeah, let's go to the gym.
that was a workout, if I do say so myself. My legs are literally shaking right now, which is, you know, obviously a good sign that I uh, really pushed it to the limit. But I'm a little nervous for how this week's gonna go because I am gonna be on my feet all week with work and you know whatever else I'm doing and so I hate when my legs are sore like it's like the biggest pet peeve of mine like I just hate I don't know like it just it just makes life so much more complicated when you feel like you can't walk so I'm a little nervous for how my recovery is gonna go but I there's a bump so I'm gonna hold the camera so it doesn't drop making a left hand turn out of this parking lot is literally the worst thing in the world but it must be done so I have a ton of time before I have to work it's only 10 o'clock and I don't work until 3 30 so I'm going to go to Trader Joe's because I have to pick up a couple things I ran out of my face moisturizer that I use twice a day it has SPF in it and it's actually Trader Joe's brand and I've shown it in my skincare routine video so if you don't know now you know but I use that moisturizer literally all the time it's my saving grace obviously you guys can tell that my skin has been a little uh, irritated I guess I don't know what's really going on I was thinking today about it and honestly for all my ladies out there I think it might have to do with me switching my birth control I live in California but my doctor is in New York still so they send three months at a time to my pharmacy and then my mom will go pick it up for me and then she ships it to me so then I have three months where I don't have to worry about it and then when it gets close to the end of the three months then they send it again but I noticed that when I switched the pharmacy it was a different brand of birth control and I've been told before that the brand doesn't really matter it has more to do with like the amount of like estrogen levels in it but I don't know I just I don't know something's telling me that the, the switch of it has done something to my body and my body's not liking it because I've been on the same birth control for literally years and years and years and I've never had issues with my skin ever so I don't know I think maybe that could be the reason I have to call my doctor this week and figure that out because this is not gonna work for me um, <laughs> so we're gonna have to get a hold on that as soon as possible okay so I just got home and I figured I would give you guys a little haul on what I got I went to Ulta and I went to Trader Joe's I'll show you what I got at Trader Joe's first because that's probably the least exciting <laughs> So I have this beautiful vase in my kitchen right by the window and there's nothing in it right now so I wanted to pick up some fresh flowers. Sunflowers are like my favorite flower by far. I love all different types of plants but I do have a soft spot for sunflowers. I got some eggs. I'm literally eating eggs for breakfast like every day so I go through them really quickly. I got more moisturizer. I mean I've talked about this before like I said earlier but I wear this every day morning and night. I got these crackers. I've never tried these before they're seeds and grains crisp bread and I'm gonna talk about this maybe later in this video or a different video but I have been really focusing on my gut health and I have a good friend who's teaching me a lot about like what to look for when you buy food and ingredients and the stuff that they put in our food is so toxic for our bodies and I really feel like that's been a big factor in why I've had issues with my gut over the last couple of years um, and ever since I've been making these like small little changes to my diet, I've noticed such an improvement on my stomach already. So I am really careful with what I buy and what's in it. Basically, if I don't know what's in something, I'm gonna consider that it's a bad thing and I'm not gonna buy it. And you'd be surprised the type of stuff they put in our food, you guys. It's like, it's like literally it makes me speechless. Like I really, I don't know. I don't want to like get into that right now because I don't want to like freak anybody out. I got some more creamer and I just want to talk about this really quick. Oh, and toothpaste. I'm literally holding this toothpaste. But I used to buy the almond milk and coconut vanilla creamer from Trader Joe's and yes, I miss the taste of the vanilla, but it literally says on the carton organic almond and, van and coconut creamer. And so you think, oh, it's organic, it's almond, it's coconut, it's dairy free, it's healthy. The stuff in that creamer, there's like gums and like acids and natural flavors and it's just like, it, it it's really bad for you. <laughs> I was putting that in my coffee every day and I have at least like two cups of coffee at home a day, if not three. So I was really filling up my system with like 
nasty chemicals so I've actually gone back to just generic half and half it's only made with grade A organic grade A pasteurized milk and organic cream that's literally the only two ingredients in this this is actually way healthier for you than like all that other crap even though it says it's almond and coconut whatever it's not that good for you and I didn't realize that until my friend explained it to me and I'm like ugh. okay so now we're switching back to regular half and half and I do like the taste of regular half and half coffee honestly it's pretty nostalgic because Whenever I'm back home and I'm making coffee at my parents' house, they don't have like any of the sweet stuff, so I always just use like regular half and half. So now when I drink my coffee, I feel like I'm kind of at home because it's like that type of coffee, like taste is connected to my parents' house. I don't know. Let's continue. So I got some ground turkey and some black beans. I want to try like a cool recipe this week, maybe like ground turkey and black bean burgers and then lastly I got some liquid dish soap because I'm running low okay now moving on to the fun part what I got at Ulta so I got a new Bondi Boost HG conditioner I have a lot of shampoo left so I didn't get a shampoo but I did run out of the conditioner so I got this this isn't sponsored or anything but Bondi Boost has truly changed my hair it's gotten so much more full and just like soft and it's growing at a faster rate which is what I want right now I want to grow my hair out pretty long so that when I cut it it's still long I've been using this for a few months now and I use the intensive spray as well on my roots and I'm obsessed with it the next thing I got is this little covergirl clean fresh tinted lip balm I have it on right now um, I really like it it's very hydrating very cute and they had a ton of different shades I got this one it's the shade Ch I cherry issue shade 500 so I like it, it's cute. And then finally, the most exciting thing I got was the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume, and this is the Intense 2.0 version. I've been using the original version in a smaller bottle and I just ran out of it, and so I saw the Intense one that I've never smelled before, and I smelled it at the store, and I was like, oh my god, this is like what I was using, but even better. So I got the bigger size because I literally wear this perfume every single day. It's my staple. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. So if you're looking for a new fragrance, I highly suggest you try this one. Again, not sponsored, but I love it so much. So yeah, that completes the haul. So I just got out of the shower. I feel amazing. I needed a shower really badly. <laughs> and now I'm going to make some chicken for my dinner tonight. I do have to work in like, I have to leave about an hour. But I want to make the chicken now because when I get home later, I'm not going to want to cook. I found this recipe on TikTok. It's Juicy Chicken 101, I think is what she calls it. But I've got some boneless chicken breast here. I'm going to season it, put it on the pan for five minutes just to crisp it up on one side. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven for... 13 minutes at 400 degrees and I will show you guys how it turns out. The seasonings that I'm going to use, I have salt, pepper, I have garlic powder, I have this like everyday seasoning. It's got a lot of stuff in it like sea salt, mustard seeds, black peppercorn, coriander, coriander, I don't know how to say that, onion, garlic, paprika, and chili pepper. So I'm going to do all four of these on both sides of the chicken and then I'm going to crisp it on one side like I said for five minutes and then put it in the oven. The chicken is sizzling so I'm sorry if it's really loud but this video has honestly turned into like a food video or like a food vlog whatever. Um, but I wanted to show you guys these muffins that I made. They were a Simple Mills recipe so they're their pumpkin, pumpkin bread like muffins or you can make a loaf uh, if you prefer that. But I made the muffins, and they're by Simple Mills, not sponsored. And then I added dark chocolate chips on the top. So good. So the chicken is done crisping on one side, but I'm like kind of nervous to go flip it really quick because the oil is like shooting out of it, you know, and I don't want to get sprayed with oil because I have done that before, and it is super painful. Okay, it's literally still cooking. It's gonna burn. I have to do it, but like, eh. Okay, so this is what the chicken is supposed to look like on one side. The other side isn't cooked because it said just to do one and then put it in the oven. And then I just poured the rest of the oil onto the pan because I figured that would be an okay thing to do. I'm not sure if that's right or wrong, but we'll see. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes, 13 to 15 minutes at 400 degrees and 
crossing my fingers that it comes out good. Uh, look at this cutie. Also, I can hear, I can hear the chicken sizzling like in the oven. Is that normal? I feel like normally when stuff's in the oven, you don't really hear it sizzling. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it um, and hope that it's doing fine. But uh, let's check in. Let's check in with Olivia. What are you doing right now? Oh my God, please don't step on me. No, Olivia, stop. No, please don't. Say hi to the camera up there. See, up, look, up there. <gasps> what? Oh, don't lick my face. Look it. Say hi up there. <laughs> Olivia, no. Oh my God. This is why I can't ever lay with her because she just has to, excuse you, she has to, lick my face and step all over my hair. Ugh. Why do you do that? Why do you do that to me? I don't like that when you lick my face and step on my hair. <laughs> you okay? Got another sneeze in there? Do you have to sneeze again or you think you're good? Oh, I think she probably thought I asked if she wants F-O-O-D. Or if she wants to EAT because I gave her breakfast this morning at like 6.45, 7 when I woke up. And that's really early for her. Typically, I don't feed her until like after 8 at least. So now she wants to eat dinner like an hour and a half, two hours early. And I'm debating if I should feed her now before I go to work or if I should wait till I come back, which is what I typically do because it's like not even 2.30 and that's really early for her. She usually eats around like four, you know, but she's uh, bugging me to eat, so I might just have to give in. Okay, I'm just gonna check on this chicken because I'm a little nervous. It's like very sizzly. I think it's just the oil that I put on the pan. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Also, oh my gosh, I just walked by my water jug this one that I bought, look at how much water I still need to drink. I drink probably a little bit more than what it's showing at the gym and then I refilled it while I was there, um, which is a pro tip if you go to a gym and they have one of those water fountains where the water like comes down and it's cleaner and purified, totally use that to fill up your gallon of water because my Brita cannot do this entire thing in one, in one pour. It's usually a two Brita process. So I took advantage of the water at the gym today and I'm glad I did. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you guys because I recently just got to 400 subscribers and I'm so excited. It's so it's so exciting to me every time the number goes from like one of the hundreds to the next when it went from like 100 something to 200, three, and now we're at 400 and it's like, it's just crazy how much my channel's grown and all of the continued support. If you're someone that always watches my videos and you you know, give me comments and likes and everything, like it really means everything to me and it makes me really excited to see all of that. So thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. I am so excited for the future of my YouTube channel and I just love recording and editing and all of that. I was thinking like, maybe incorporating more of my friends on my channel because I usually just do videos by myself, but I have a lot of ideas with different friends of mine of like what we could do together. So let me know if that's something you guys wanna see. I just wanted to say thank you so much and I really, really appreciate all of the support. Hi, it's Tuesday. It's 7.22 at night and I got home from work about an hour ago and I just had some dinner. I've been watching some YouTube, just like unwinding for the day. Tuesdays are my busy day at work, so when I come home, I'm like, I'm done. I'm out of here. I have no idea where I left off filming yesterday. I don't know if I ended up showing you guys the result of that chicken I was making, but I'm here to say confidently that it was delicious. I'm going to close out this video here. I have a really fun weekend coming up this week. I'm going to a comedy show. I have a lot of like dinner plans with friends and just like stuff going on so I'll be sure to vlog that. I just checked my subscriber count. I'm at 407 so again I already said this earlier but I just appreciate you guys so much and I just wanted to say thank you one more time if you're a new subscriber or if you're just a recurring subscriber on my channel like any support you guys show me it like literally means the entire world to me so thank you so much 
um i'm so grateful and i'm yeah i'm just like beyond thankful for you so thank you i love you i'm gonna take off my makeup because my skin is not happy with me these days um we're gonna get this fixed though don't worry and i'm going to unwind for the night and probably watch a movie with olivia because i've been wanting to see mamma mia even though I've seen it 6,000 times, but I've been wanting to watch it. So I think I'm gonna watch Mama Mia tonight, have some wine, and uh, edit this video probably. So I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week, day, night, whatever time of day it is for you. I love you. Bye.